nothing like the rumble of that V4 powerhouse. This is uh, this bike was here when I came to work on Friday. Junior had just picked this up last week from one of his clients, and uh, first thing I said when I saw it was like, "Wow!" It was up on a lift. I was like, "This thing is absolutely stunning." In fact, the nicest, cleanest '84 Magna I've seen uh, in in decades. I think what really got me off Jump Street was how clean the, the paint and the chrome was and, and the fit and finish on it was stunning. And when I saw it, it had 43,000 miles on it, I was like, oh my God, whoever owned this thing was completely obsessed because my new Harley's not this clean. This thing is absolutely spotless, top to bottom. Uh, truly a museum quality bike, cosmetically, it's uh, perfect. Um, it's, close, it's close to 100 point. Close to 100 point. I'm, I'm an a AMCA, Antique Motorcycle Club of America, judge. I, I judge shows that we have here at the museum and uh, at the national uh, event that they have here in Connecticut. And I go to, well, I go to every motorcycle show I can, and I see a lot of vintage bikes. And the final one come up this clean is just few and far between. It's not perfect, but it's damn near close to Yeah, it does have an imperfection on the gas tank right here, about the size of a match stick, match head, a little tiny. It looks like a rock or, or a pebble or something might have flown up while driving on the highway. Um, I'm sure if I look closely, uh, the tank is super smooth, like it's been waxed a hundred times, probably has. The seat's in beautiful condition. Um, the uh, wheels, look at the wheels. They're absolutely ridiculous how much time he spent polishing the chrome on these to a brilliant shine. Um, it's These are the stock mags that were hand polished and machine polished with a Dremel tool or some sort. And I guarantee you he's got 100 hours just in polishing the, the aluminum on this thing let alone the rest of it. So original exhausts are in mint shape. They're not rusted out. Um, fork lowers are in beautiful shape. They're not all pitted. Um, there is a little patina on the aluminum here on the Honda logo, as would be expected for a 84 era motorcycle. This bike's 35 years old. Um, it does qualify for antique status. Um, the gauges are in beautiful condition. I didn't know anywhere on the bike. I usually look on the, I look at the end of the turn signals to see if there's any scratches. I look at the end of the levers and the grip to see if there's any tears. The original grips are in mint shape. Um, a little bit of wear on this grip, as you'd expect, with a you know original 30, and a little bit of wear on the paint right here on the lever, but that's just patina from being used. So it's been untouched, unretouched, unpainted. The chrome on the front fender is stunning. And everything works, um, on the bike. And everything works beautifully. Yeah, the, 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 the horn is... The horn's really loud, typical Honda quality. Make your ears hurt. Turn signals, the, the, the electronics on the bike are impeccable, a 10. Everything works beautifully, as you'd expect a new Honda to work. Uh, this, this bike works like a brand new bike. Um, for this period, these bikes were run lean from the factory. This is stock, it is, does have that factory condition of being cold blooded. It takes a little while to warm up. The ethanol fuel doesn't help at all. I would definitely recommend running a seafoam additive in the fuel and uh, to help uh, keep the carbs clean. So uh, run a couple uh, couple uh, heavy batches of sea foam through it and then just add a couple ounces to every tank full. And if you're gonna let it set, of course, hook it to a tender. And add fuel stabilizer. We pulled the side covers off, even underneath the side cover covers is clean. If you look at the, um, the bottom of the engine it is in immaculate condition also. Again, uh, it's just remarkable. Uh, the frame, the, even the frame right here has original factory shine on it. This is an unretouched original survivor that's just in, in beautiful shape a little bit of patina uh, on, the, on if you look at this motor component right here you do see a little patina right there uh, to be expected um, again as an AMCA judge I look for originality or restoration close to originality this is an unrestored original something you just don't find in the 80s areas it's Honda. very easy to find a crusty magna that isn't good oh yeah the mag magnas are a dime a dozen and we were talking to our, our lead Tech Mark Olson, and he's like, yeah, this is the m number one bike they worked on in the 80s at the Honda shop. They were super popular. A bunch of V4s. But a lot of V4s. Most of them got destroyed and ran into the ground and left outside to rot. So you're never going to take a $1,000 Magna and turn it into this. It's just not going to happen. And the, you know, there are plenty of them out there for one to 2000 that run. But the fine one in mint shape, spend a little bit more. Don't buy a turd and try to polish it. Buy one that's uh, mint like this. You'll never get your fork lowers looking like this where the, uh, they're not all pitted. The, this, the discs aren't rotted. The it's calipers are nice. Yeah, this is a cucumber. This is a fresh cucumber. No pickle here, okay? So um, there's a couple little chips on the paint around with the mounting bolt, which is perfectly normal. But this side of the tank, see this right here? I want to point out any defect I can find. Uh, you know, just we're not trying to hide anything here. This is a little bit of wax on there. But um, like I said, there's so much wax on this. If There's probably got more wax than a candle. It's smooth as a baby's bottom. So not a single ding, ding, ding or dent on this side, nor is there uh, any defects on, on the 
side panel. So that's about it. I mean, I could keep ranting and raving, but you get the idea. It's a mint original Survivor that's been unmolested. So good luck bidding on it. Let Junior uh, add his 10 cents in. Thanks, Pops. Um, if you're interested in the bike and want a shipping quote, message us your zip code, and I'll respond uh, very quickly. Um, or call us at 860-454-7024 if you have any questions on the bike. Otherwise, it is sold with a Connecticut transferable registration um, and a notarized bill of sale from our licensed dealership, and that's sufficient for reg registration in all 50 states and also export to another country. So, I think uh, I would add that being a 700cc V4 performance engine, you can easily ride two up, and if you're riding your girlfriend or significant other on the back or one of your kids, it's got the backrest. You don't have to worry about them flying off, and it has a luggage rack on the back, so you can put a big backpack on the back. And these make great sport touring bikes. It's considered a zero-maintenance bike, has a shaft drive, really just change your oil annually. There's very little maintenance required, just a fantastic machine. And it's oh, it's a classic Honda going up in value. Look at what's happening with the Hondas from the 60s and 70s. They've gone through the roof. Uh, what's next? The 80s. Buy this one while you can still afford it. The tank badges are gorgeous, dark gold and light gold on the black. Uh, the tank uh, warning label is a black uh, black background with gold, uh, gold decals on the side and with the raised white letters and the chrome wheels. It pops. It looks badass. I wouldn't, uh, you know, you r ride this up to a to a gaggle of bikes at Daytona, and everybody's gonna be walking out and looking at this, not the new $30,000 Harley, because this is unique, a 35-year-old classic in mint shape that's 100% stock except for the tires. Is there any items on here that are not stock, Kenny? I mean, this thing looks to me to be 100% original. I think it's 100% original. Um, Owned by someone who definitely had OCD to keep it this clean. I mean, they probably waxed and polished it more than he rode it. Certainly uh, hundreds of hours in the, in the rims alone. So good luck bidding on it. If you have any questions, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, and it helps us. Also, like the video and share it if you would, please. It helps us grow our channel and uh, support the museum. 100% of the proceeds go to support the New England Motorcycle Museum, this massive facility we have here. So good luck bidding on it, and God bless America.